welcome back everyone and also welcome to all the new viewers and listeners. Don't forget that I'm giving away some B&B and a trip to Thailand. Okay, on to today's topic. I guess you've heard of Terror Rebels, right? The team that continue working on Terra Luna Classic, Terra Classic, Luna Classic, or, or whatever you want to call it. And have you also wondered who they really are? Well, I believe I have found out their identities, their work experience, their education, and where they live. I would have caught. I could, of course, be wrong, right? And that would. That is a risk I have to take. I also have invested in uh, Terra Classic myself, uh, especially now after the crash. And if someone says that they will take over in one way or another, I really would like to check their qualifications, right? And I guess you are just like me in this case. That's why you're listening to this or watching this video. If you want, if you want to invest money into something, you have to do your research, or else, yeah, it might end up just like SafeMoon, and a team that is completely incompetent and only out to scam you, and they don't even know what they're from their right hand to their left hand what they're really doing. So, this new Terror Rebels team. So I checked their white paper that they released now in July 2022 and saw a few names up here. Yeah. And next I tried to reach out um, to different influencers or YouTubers both on Twitter and YouTube the co cover Terror Classic and ask them what do you know about these Terror Rebels? And guess what? None of them replied. What does that mean? Either they're conceited or they don't know. Or both. Yeah. <sighs> and so that made me thinking. And I started digging a bit deeper. And I also asked on the Discord channel for any information. And what I met with was skepticism. Or like, why do I need that information and so on, blah, blah, blah. Well, there is no meaning of knowing this information, they also said. Okay, and that oh, made me even more curious to, like, why are they hiding this information? Are, are the, the people in the Discord just brainwashed to believe whatever Terror Rebel says? Is the Terror Rebels community, I do not say Terror Classic community, I say Terror Rebels community, are they just as brainwashed as Safe Moon Army? Yeah, th that's something you have to ask yourself. Okay, so my thoughts are simple. That this information is something that everyone should have the right to know. And why would you also want to keep it a secret? Yeah, one question I got is that Terror Rebels team is private individual and don't want their entire life looked into by possibly malicious actors. And my answer is like, what? The, like. That's exactly like, okay, not may maybe malicious actors, but their life have to be looked into because if they're taking this responsibility to continue the blockchain, to continue Terra Classic, they have to be held accountable if something happens. But the answer from this community or this Discord, it always scared me a bit. It did scare me. This Terror Rebels team are the ones who now are responsible and need to be held accountable, as I said, if anything happens. Also, how can we trust them? We don't know anything about them, actually. They can be the next Do Kwan and just trying to make money for themselves and don't give a shit 
about all the other investors. Well, I do, I belie I do believe I have found their identities and their experience, both when it comes to work and education. And this is what I found and I want to share it with you since I think it's important. Well, I can tell you this. As I did start this, I started to look at the names here again on the white paper. So we have Edward Kim, Tobias Anderson, Arventus, Justin Tabish, AE, Pedro Borges, David Schmidt, and Matthew Western. So first we have Edward Kim. He has a PhD from Lee University in Computer Science and today he's an associate professor at Drexel University and lives in Bryn Mawr, right outside of Philadelphia. I know, I've been there. So, this is him. I found him on LinkedIn. Well, that's where I checked. Tobias Anderson. He has a Bachelor of Applied Science from Chalmers Institute of Technology in Sweden. And Chalmers is a leading university in Sweden when it comes to technology and computer science. I would know, I live in Sweden. And today he works as a web developer in Malmö. It's like south down in Sweden. It's very windy there and yeah. Next person is Marventus. Marventus. Well, I haven't found any information about his true identity. And this actually scares me. Who is he? Why is he hiding his identity? What is his education? What is his work experience? This guy is a huge red flag up until he really shows who he is. I wouldn't trust him. Maybe you do. Here we have Justin Tabish. I'm not sure if he has a university degree. I found three profiles on LinkedIn with the same guy. Uh, different pictures but of the same guy so yeah however he works as an information technology support specialist in Vancouver Canada the reason I have chosen this guy is because of his work the only part that worries me is that maybe he's not the correct Justin however I didn't find any other Justin Tabish and he also doesn't have a university degrees and this worries me had he been the lead on this, that would have been too many red flags for me. However, I know some people do understand a bit about blockchain, but to run this project, I would have seen more like Edward Kim. Next is AE. There is no information about him. And that means, of course, many red flags and I can't trust him. I can't trust what. I need more information. Come on, everybody needs it. Be honest, be transparent. Come on, terror rebels, stop screwing with us. Up next is Pedro Borges. He has a Bachelor of Science and Computer Engineering from the University of Puerto Rico. He works as a senior security engineer at Siemens Digital industry software in Colorado Springs, United States of America. Then we have David Schmidt. He has a master's degree in applied computing and works as a data scientist for the Commonwealth Computer Research in Charlottesville, Virginia. However, he has also been a lecturer at East Tennessee State University. Last and not least, we have Matthew Western, or well, let's call him Matt. Matt has a diploma from a Amos IT Academy, or A-M-E-S IT Academy, and he works as a network work specialist for indie technology in Christchurch, New Zealand. 
There's some red flags about this guy due to his lack of a university degree. Like, is he competent enough like the others who has a university degree and those who hasn't? However, not much as the other red, red flags above. So this is a team and how does this affect me as an investor? I can see that Edward Kim is the lead on this or as Happy Cat Crypto calls him the chairman. That's my guess because he's the most qualified and he's, yeah, he's the most qualified to lead this team or gang. The next question I ask myself is can they do what they say they want to do? I would say probably yes, most of them can. And there's like security, there's development, there's yeah, science. Maybe th this guy who David Schmidt, who has a master's degree in applied computing, I guess applied computing, you also need to have a, a lot of math skills, especially when you do blockchain. So yeah. And well, next thing I have to say is, will I continue to inv invest in this project? I would say also yes, but there is a big but here. I want this team to be more transparent and go as public as they can with their identities and those with only a nickname come forward with their real names and so on. Like this Marventus and AE. Who the F are you two guys? You two guys. Yeah, I'm making a joke now. Because this is actually important for the future. Let's say future developers who wants to develop their project on the Terra Classic blockchain. If they don't know who the team is taking care of the blockchain as good as they can are why would they or anyone want to start the project on a Terra Classic blockchain? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. And if, one thing more, if I'm wrong about this team, I'm really sorry for that. Yeah. But the only one or ones you can blame is the Terra Rebels for not being transparent enough. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and more will come, but don't forget my last final words. Good evening. Don't forget that I'm giving away either some BNB crypto or a trip to Thailand, if I get that many subscribers. You can be one of them. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Have a nice day. Bye bye.